person you will ever fucking meet. <laughs> so I'm really working on it. I think it came across pretty well, right? Yeah, you can say yeah, it's fine. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, so I've been dating this guy, it's going really well, but he's so optimistic. Like, he's one of those people that the universe just loves. And I can't comprehend it at all. Like, if, like, heaven forbid, he would trip and fall. Like, he would be the person that would fall into a cotton factory. Like, I don't even know what a cotton factory is, but he would find one, fall into it gracefully. Like, even more realistically, for LAers, like, you know there's just mattresses on the ground? <laughs> find like the one clean mattress and fall into that. By the way, like what what's up with the mattress thing in California? Like they're literally everywhere. It's harder to get rid of a mattress than it is to get rid of a baby. <laughs> but like I figured it out. Like you just bring it to the fire department. They literally will accept anything. It's phenomenal. <laughs> but, you know, my, my boyfriend is, like, exhaustingly optimistic. I wake up in the morning with him wide awake, looking at me, smiling. Like, how am I supposed to get sleep knowing that I'm going to be waking up to that? And it's not just him, it's his entire family, right? That's a lot. Like... His brother somehow launched his dream job of making maps. <laughs> Who the fuck is making maps me? <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure we figured it all out. <laughs> but like, for some reason, the universe granted him the dream job, right? And his lovely stepfather is a Zen Buddhist who is a bonds broker. <laughs> Thank you. Like, he found the positive outlook on broking in this economy. <laughs> and his lovely, lovely mother She's wonderful. She's the loveliest, sweetest woman you'll ever meet in her 60s. She decided that she wasn't being challenged enough, so she decided to go get her PhD. <clears throat> so in a few months, we're going to be calling her doctor. Like, you're not challenged enough. You made it to 60. The challenge is over. <laughs> like, do what every other 60-year-old does and watch some Law and Order. Just sit down. Like, sit down. <laughs> But they're lovely, like the whole family's wonderful. And I was actually really fortunate to spend a lot of time with them recently. Um, my boyfriend's best friend from high school recently got married. So we went to stay with them for a long weekend. And when my boyfriend was away doing best man duties, I was fortunate enough to spend some one-on-one -on -one -on -one time with his mother. Which of course is like every girlfriend's favorite thing to do, is spending one-on-one -on -one time with the boyfriend's mother. But I decided I was going to take it as an opportunity to work on my optimism. So take it for what it was and really enjoy the moment. But she made it really difficult for me. 
she took me bra shopping. <laughs> and not only was it bra shopping, she took me to her favorite bra location, which just happened to be a plus size woman's bra shop for the voluptuous. So like, not only did I leave empty handed that day, but I just really lost a lot of my self-respect. <laughs> but it's great, the family's wonderful. I'm actually, I'm really fortunate to be a part, a part of, I guess, in essence, I guess I just welcome myself to another family, but it's really good for me to be around them because my family is like the complete opposite of that. Like, it's horrific. But it's great. It's teaching me a lot of great things about family and loving and wonderfulness. It's great. <laughs> but, you know, I have so many repressed daddy issues that when me and my boyfriend, like, even attempt to get a little kinky in the bedroom and, like, partake in some role play, it just ends up with me sitting in the corner crying while wearing a birthday hat. <laughs> He just isn't there. <laughs> but it's gonna be great. That's my time.